Besides if, there are more control forms in C, such as do while, while loops, and for loops. And all of these are like if in the sense that they involve jumps around different parts of the code, but they're different from if in that they involve loops. Still, we can think of them in the same way we've been thinking about ifs as patterns of labels and go-tos. A do loop um, always does the body at least once, then as long as a test succeeds, then it goes around and does the same thing again. And that it corresponds to putting a loop label at the beginning, doing the body, and then at the end of the body always checking for the test and going back around to the loop. For example, here's the Fibonacci function written with do while. Um, so we have these variables i and val and inval. For Fibonacci, we need to keep track of the last couple of uh, results. And then it goes around as long as i is less than n, where n is the, the argument that told us how far to go in the Fibonacci sequence. If we look at our go to style C variant of this, we could write it equivalently as there's a loop label here, and if i is less than n, then we go to that loop label at the end. So we expect the machine code to be something like this orange box here. And what it actually turns out to be, if you compile this and we look at the, the middle part here, um, this L6 label corresponds to the loop, right? Because we're compiling this original do, it makes up a name for the label, uh, L6. Uh, it turns out in this scenario that uh, the ECX register holds I, ESI holds N, EBX holds val, EDX has inval, and EAX has this um, has the result of uh, this intermediate uh, addition. So that's why um, EAX, ECX in the code is initialized to zero. ESI corresponds to the argument N. EBX is initialized to zero and one. But then we get into the loop part, and it corresponds to here, where we have a load effective address. That's a cheap way of adding things, right? So we have EDX plus EDBX. That is setting T, our temporary and EAX here, to be uh, val plus nval. And then we move uh, EDX to EBX. That is removing val to nval, just like we had in the C code. And then we're moving EAX to EDX. That's nval to T, just like in the C code and then incrementing ECX, which is I, and then the comparison of I to N, which is an ESI. And in the case that I is less than N, sorry, I is less than N, that's when we want to jump to L6, so that's a JL. And then finally, uh, when we're done with the while loop, when we fall out of here, we want to return val. Val is an EBX, so we move EBX into the result register EAX. So in this case, the machine code that uh, came from this original C program will look very, it's likely to look very much like the go-to based uh, variant of C in, in the orange box here.